It's Fun Fact Friday! Your kid professors Fun Fact Fridays. Your kid professors Fun Fact Fridays. If you ready, time to have us some fun. So many things to know, so many facts to learn. Hey, Your kid professors Fun Fact Fridays. Your kid professors Fun Fact Fridays. If you ready, time to have us some fun. So many things to know, so many facts to learn. Hey, Every Friday, join your kid professors. Let's go! Subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to learn about William H. Johnson. Johnson. He painted realism art and expressionism. And he was best known for his folk style. Remember what folk style is? Yeah. His paintings, watercolors, and prints is in the Smithsonian Museum. We have been at the Smithsonian Museum. Have you though? Let's talk about a little bit of his background. He was born in South Carolina and attended all black school where he learned to draw. He practiced by copying comic strips. When he was 17, he moved to New York. He went to an art school in New York City, National Academy of Designing in New York. His he teacher at the art, art, art school, school thought he was good at art. His teacher at the art school thought he had a lot of talent and encouraged him to apply for a scholarship in Paris. When he didn't get the scholarship, the teacher gave him $1,000 so he could go to Paris. He moved to France when he was only 26 years old and stayed in Europe for 12 years. There he learned a lot about art. Well, then when he turned to America, he wanted to focus about black art. Now let's take, take a, a look, look at some of his artwork. I think the colors are pretty creative. Mm -hmm. Cause like there's one guy that has um, yellow and black stripes. Yeah. And there's also one guy with um, white hair. I have to do a segregation. Segregation is my Black people couldn't do the same thing as white people. It looks like that girl and the, the dad, and maybe is it? Maybe I can't tell. But it looks like that they're like uh, uh, hugging, really hugging, or having a like a family picture. Yep. And then there, there's a grocery bag to make it look like they they just left the store, and it makes me feel really happy. Let's take a look at one, one more of his paintings. This one's called Three Women, Women in Coats and Cats. Yep, it's exactly what it says in the calls. This because there's three women wearing hats and clothes. I like that the three women are next together and smiling. Three, it looks like three, three Afri African American women marching or something? Was I mad about something? Maybe it has to do with the bus thing where Rosa Parks um, was on the bus and she got kicked out and went to jail. Um, I also think that is creative because mm -hmm. there's one person with a um, with wire skin. And, no, yeah, and there's also another person who has like a green hat with with the yellow and orange checkered um, things on it. There's someone else that, nice. with a pur purple hat and there's a blue stripe down there and red zigzag lines through it. Um, those three women are marching. Are marching 
because they're probably they're boycotting um going on buses. You could see he likes to paint with bright colors. We're trying to draw a picture just like Mr. Johnson, and we're gonna have you guys draw one after class too. In 1956, he was almost sick, and his care teachers tried to destroy his artwork. And then he got fired, right? Instead of getting his artwork destroyed, there were people that got it, and they sent it to the Herman Foundation. The foundation helps support black artists. A thousand pieces of artwork was sent to the Smithsonian Museum. Let me tell about a last few new things about Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson liked, really liked the blue and light colors. Like orange. And light green. He's very famous for pe painting black people in the 1940s. He also has portraits of his family too. Time, Time for, for you to paint, paint a picture, picture like, like Mr. Mr. Johnson. We are done with Fun Fair Friday. Take out your pencil and your paper. Okay, the art teacher's about to come in. Make a painting and copy his, what his work is. And he's about to come in, so. What, what did, did you, 